What is going on guys, this is Ben here. In today's video, we are going to be using the Ice Golem. So I know a lot of you guys, if you're watching this, like right now, as soon as I up to, uploaded this video, the Ice Golem currently isn't available. Supercell allowed us to use the developer build to show you guys this gameplay. Um, but I am in like almost 4,000 trophies, 3,800. And I'm going to be doing practice matches because no one else is on this private server build. But I'm going to be talking about the Ice Golem, showing you guys basically his two elixir. He slows like an ice wizard, has a slow like an ice wizard, I should say. He's really, really tanky, so I'm going to try him out, like, putting him in front of my hog rider and prince pushes. I mean, I, I am playing up, I am playing against a level 12, I am a level 10, so I'm at a disadvantage here, but the reason for that is because I knew coming into this that I, would go, I was going to need that to make this, like, a fair, fair-er battle, but, so now that we're going to, we're just going to keep dropping our stuff. The ice golem is going to be in front of my prince here. And the main key is, like, I want him to be the, the barrier, and then if he, anything were to get dropped, um, my prince would have been able to, because, like, they would be, the, the, the troops that were dropped would have been slowed by the ice golem. So that's the thing behind it. I might try it with the hog rider, too. Um, that's why I have him in here. And we're using an ice-themed battle deck, all ice. We got the freeze in here, we got the ice spirit, the ice wizard, the ice golem, and I think that's anything, I think that's everything ice in the game at the moment. So... Yeah, but we're we're losing the battle right now, of course. So we're gonna we're gonna drop the prince in the br in the back. I think once we hit double elixir, we should be okay. Uh, we'll drop the hog rider here, and now we want the ice golem to be in front, but that never happens because we got the ice spirit out. I don't even know if my zap will kill those. So the hog rider is at the tower. He's doing a little bit of damage. Um, the Ice Golem did slow the Barbarians, but he, this this <laughs> the Trainer Max is doing a good, a good job at distracting my guys for for long enough where they die at the tower. Because he's got max level cards here, so this is going to be interesting. He's going to use arrows. I'm okay with that. He activated my King Tower. So with that, we'll start off our push once again. We are almost in double elixir. We'll drop the minions over here for playing defense. Ice golem. In I can't get him dropped perfectly in front of my tower like I wanted to. But either way, he's letting my prince go. Um, we're just going to zap. We traded towers. We'll drop the hog rider, the ice spirits. And I do have my freeze inbound as well. So I could use my own freeze. And then we'll drop the the minions and everything. We'll see if the hog rider and the ice golem can take it by themselves. I'm going to need to zap these. So, sadly, we weren't able to push there. I just wasted dropping my ice golem. That sucks. He's going to be going for towers. He doesn't deal a whole lot of damage. He's, you're, you, you're mostly using him for that ice effect. So, I can't take that damage from the tower. So, I need to drop all this stuff. And if he drops his... Um, Oh crap, this is not looking good, boys and girls. He's relentless. Get to the tower. Hog Rider, go! I should have did that from the start. Just Hog Rider to his tower, but... So, you can see I just got demolished by this trainer here. We're gonna go again. So instead of the zap, I'm actually gonna be using the fireball. Add a little bit fire to melt the ice. Because those barbarians that he has, I cannot stop, man. Uh, they're just too strong. They're level 13. So with that, um, we'll start off with the Ice Wizard is going to be our main defensive card. So we'll drop him in the back and then see these barbarians here. Like, what am I going to do against that? So they're going to melt me in every way. I really needed my fireball, but I do not have it, sadly. It was my last card in the rotation. So with that, those Ice Spirits are annoying. So this is a terrible open push by us. Um, he did use the, he did use the arrows, so at least we get the, the push that I was trying to do with the hog rider pushing the ice golem to the front, so he tanks some of the damage, and then we got the ice spirit also freezing the tower, just ice on top of ice on top of ice, and then I don't even think the ice golem's gonna go down, because the hog rider is the one getting targeted at the moment, so there we go, and I'm also gonna freeze, cause he's not, aww, so I just kind of wasted my freezy arrow killed them. <laughs> so that sucks. But we're going to push the left hand side now. Uh, we'll try. we got to drop these minions. Just so these spear goblins don't actually chip down any more damage. We know he has that. We know he has that royal giant in this battle deck. I think every time they use the same battle deck. So 
Okay, I can't really do much against the baby dragon. Uh, we'll do ice, drop the ice spirit so the, okay, that didn't do anything. And my hog rider skills were not the best on that drop right there, but I do have my freeze. So we'll drop the freeze. You can see the tower is slowed by the ice golem. We're taking the tower down. His miner is doing a lot of work. So are those spear goblins. All right, so we're winning the trade so far. Once we hit double elixir, we'll see how it goes. He actually got good arrows there. Haven't seen his barbarians in a while, which is a good sign. Good sign for me, at least. So ice spirits on the right hand side. We'll we'll take those. We'll drop the ice golem. Just in the back, because I don't want to lose on this push here by him, because he's going to be going into my tower. He's going to use the arrows. So, if we just fend him off, we should be good, because we will counter push him. Alright, so we have a really big push. Really, really big push. He did use the arrows, but we got the freeze. As long as we don't lose here, we should be okay. So I'm going to drop my Ice Wizard just to take the damage. Same with the Ice Spirit. Oh no! Okay, getting close. Come on, Prince and Dog. Right, okay, we actually won here this time. So that was really close. We, we got the push we wanted with the Ice Golem in the front. He's there to just take the damage. He gets, if you drop it right, he takes the ride to the tower and then slows it. Uh, so I'm excited for that victory there. Yes, it is a trainer, but, but still. He's got max level cards, man. It's hard. And I don't... I'm just using an ice theme, but I'm sure you could probably construct a better, a better battle deck around the ice golem. I'm just want to use the ice theme to show you guys some of the uses that I thought of. But we do have the barbarians here once again, man. These guys are... Where's my fireball every time I need it? It's always on the bottom. I'm going to have to freeze all this crap, otherwise I'm going to lose. Lose my tower. And I cannot... I cannot afford that this early in the game, man. So that opening push... Fireball once again, once again was on the bottom and I needed to be on the top of my rotation Otherwise, I'm just gonna get destroyed by those barbarians so Counter is not really coming into play unlucky and I don't want this miner to kill my tower. He probably end up will oh he did not so Now we're gonna do the other push his arrows killed my tower We're gonna use ice spirit with the hog rider Sadly, the Ice Spirit did go down because um, of everything else, but hopefully we can counter push with the with those tower, or take down his tower with the Prince and everything. So we got the Fireball, that did some damage to them. They still are pretty hefty on health. And then we got the Ice Wizard to just take the damage from the Ice, from the Fire Spirits, man. So those Barbarians are really, really deadly. Uh, if I don't have a Fireball up and he drops them again, it's going to be no chance. So... Minions, mm, will they take out the miner? They will, but they'll get ice spirited. Okay. We're gonna. I don't know. With this baby dragon, we're gonna drop the ice golem in the back. Freeze, go up. Boom. Even froze the ice spirits, or the fire spirits. That's what we wanted. Man, these spear goblins, dude. Chip damage for sure. So. We'll just do our big push. Arrows missed the tower this time. Ice Spirit is in the back there too. Keep that in mind. Freeze. Trying to take his tower. And he's trying to kill me right here. If I play more aggressive, I think I can get the victory. Hog Rider, Ice Spirit, everything. It's gonna be close. I think we got it. There we go, sweet. So we beat him twice in a row. Two to one, to, or two, we won the best out of three series, I should say. But man, that was tough. But we got the victory, Ice Golem. What do you guys think of him? Uh, I don't know. He's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool card. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like it and don't forget to subscribe. I messed up there. Don't forget to subscribe for more Clash Royale videos. Do not really hope you guys have a wonderful night, and I'll see you guys later.